Yo, what's going on? It is Mike here. Today, I wanted to share with you the best travel book of all time. It is called Vagabonding, An Uncommon Guide to the Art of Long-Term World Travel. Now, you might be asking yourself, why are you talking about your favorite travel book on a photography page? Ever since cameras have been invented, travel and exploration and photography, they go together like, um, like a horse and carriage. Before I tell you what this book is about, I want to just quickly tell you what it is not. It is not a guidebook. It is not going to tell you the best breakfast spot in London. It will not tell you the most beautiful time of year to visit Tuscany, although the spring is very nice. This is more of a philosophy of travel book. Vagabonding. What is even... It is just an uncommon way of looking at life. As much as anything, vagabonding is about time, our only real commodity, and how we choose to use it. One of Rolf's main ideas about time is to slow down. Instead of visiting a place and saying, okay, I've gotta to go to a museum here, then a cafe, then dinner here, then bop, 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 bop. He really talks about slowing down. <laughs> Spending your time deliberately, moving through the world intentionally. Now, how does that idea relate to photography? Oftentimes in photography, you need time. You need time for the lighting to be right, for the weather to change. If you only have 60 minutes to go and shoot the Golden Gate Bridge. It might be foggy, it might be overcast, there might be too many people, the rain might be. Instead of trying to see a hundred things on your trip, see less, see them deeper. Another thing that Rolf talks about in this book is living your life or spending your time deliberately. Spending your time in a meaningful way. And for Rolf, for myself, and for a lot of other people, that meaningful way is spending time on travel. So I just want to read another short passage from the book that sort of speaks to this idea. Most of us, of course, have never taken such vows, but we choose to live like monks anyway. Rooting ourselves to a home or a career, we end up spending, as Thoreau puts it, the best part of one's life earning money in order to enjoy a questionable liberty during the least valuable part of it. <sighs> we really, we only live one life. If travel is something that is important to you, and don't get me wrong, it's not important for everyone, but if it is something that is important to you, to save it for retirement or to save for it for 10 years or 15 years, that, that seems silly to me. That day may never come. I encourage anybody that I meet, if travel is something you want to do, don't put it off. Travel is for everyone if you prioritize it. So that's all from me for today. That's just my thoughts. I just wanted to share with you that book because I'm super passionate about it. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't hesitate to hit the thumbs up button, share it with a friend, email it to your mom, whatever. And until the next video, I will see you on the internet.